Welcome. In this video, we wanted to talk about some big changes that have happened to the app sheet editor. Uh, now, have, if you haven't noticed, there's been a redesign of the editor to take app sheet and bring it into Google's Google material user experience. Um, and so as far as I'm aware, it dropped to the public today uh, as of when we're recording this, the 18th of September, 2020. Um, and so I've looked around it a little bit, but I wanted to record a video uh, kind of talking about my thoughts, what we've discussed, uh, changes that have been made and changes that haven't uh, to help you understand why this has happened, what's going on. This feels like a big change. What's what's happened. Uh, so first, uh, the most important thing to recognize is this is pretty much just a user experience change. They've updated the feel of the app, the design of app sheets, uh, specifically the editor, to match Google's Google material theme. This is to help integrate it uh, into the Google environment. If you didn't know, app sheet got bought by Google Cloud at the beginning of this year. Uh, and this is part of the process of Google really bringing app sheet into the Google family. Um, and so on, honestly, this is a big step. This uh, really shows Google wanting to own up on app sheet um so i wanted to look around and see some of the changes uh that have been made kind of go over them with you so let's jump into the editor um but right off the bat we actually see that even the main app sheet page has been changed uh the fonts uh are kind of universalized so we see um even on these different pages uh the changes that google has made to bring app sheet in so it's pervasive throughout all of AppSheet, not just within the editor. But let's jump into an app. Um, and we can see once this loads, uh, it actually looks pretty slick. Uh, overall, I think I like it a lot. Um, but a couple small things, like uh, I was talking to some of the guys in the office, uh, the buttons are smaller, which uh, makes sense. It's, it's pretty common for Google. Uh, but actually had them spread across the top. Now, there's just a design principle that talks about how when a button is smaller, it's actually harder to press. Uh, so that was the first thing I noticed. But honestly, I'm not having a really hard time getting to where I need to go. Um, but it does make it a little harder to get to the page. Um, but that's honestly pretty small, especially because the rest of this, I think, looks pretty good. Um, and there are a few places I noticed where the buttons were actually a little bigger, uh, here in the UX rearrange is more kind of in your face. So you're like, Oh, I can rearrange these menu views. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so some other big changes, we've got some changes to our expression editors, especially when we kick into the expression assistant looks a lot different. Uh, I wish we could see more here, but it is what it is. Um, we can collapse this so that we can get more here. This just feels kind of unnecessarily big, but I mean, I'm really nitpicking here. Like I'm, I'm looking for stuff to have problem with. Cause honestly, I really like the, the Google materials feel, uh, for the most part. Um, I, I think it feels nice. I'm really hoping this means that uh, dark mode will come soon. Google hasn't historically been the most, uh, accepting of dark mode uh but they're starting starting to get in uh so that's exciting this looked pretty good so let's jump into one of these okay these icons again these are smaller which makes more space uh for some of this this is another interesting thing the add button looks different it used to be that row with the plus and now it's just this one button which again I don't know how I feel about that. I think I feel good. It definitely makes it less cluttered. But on the other hand, I feel like this ad button might be a little easy to overlook. This is kind of speculation though, because this is, like I said, the first day this is uh, dropped. So there's a lot of stuff here that um, I just, I won't know until I really get in and, and feel this out. Um, Okay, so these drop downs are different. They're all 
fully collapsed, which is kind of nice. So you can see everything at once uh, and then click into what you need. Um, I feel like maybe there's not enough separation, but it definitely helps it feel less cluttered, which is good for sure. So I think this is nice. I like this. Um, another thing I noticed, if we go over here, uh, these kinds of toggles uh, have changed. So we've got uh, this new T button, right? This isn't something we've seen before, I think. Um, but I, I really like this. It really hammers home the difference between um, when something is dynamic and when something is static text. And I think that is going to be helpful for people trying to learn AppSheet uh, to really, like, again, hammer home the difference of this is an expression and this is standard text. Uh, and so they can hold and house and do different things. Um, so, I, again, overall, I'm liking this. Buttons are smaller, and I, I think that's honestly the only minor criticism I might have. Um, I know I was talking to someone who said they didn't like these toggles as much, but, um, again, I, I think this really helps boost AppSheet's credibility with um, some of their... Just like the overall feel, I know we've had clients come in and kind of look at the UX of the editor and been a little concerned that it was too utilitarian and that it couldn't look nice and do what they needed to do. But that's just not true. You can do a lot of stuff inside of AppSheet to really make it look and feel modern uh, and sleek. And this is just kind of hammering home that point, if we're being fully honest. Uh, but I want to like take a look at, at some of these. The audit history is a big one. Okay, these buttons look different. They're kind of close, but let's let's launch the launch the log analyzer analyzer and see how it looks as well. Okay, so this is different. Our graphs are still the same, uh, and this actually looks okay. No, this is this feels less cluttered for sure, um, but this looks pretty much the same. And I'm maybe uh, it looks like they've standardized the font with kind of everything else in the app. But, okay, I like how big this is. It was de It's definitely bigger than it used to be. Um, but on the other hand, this text looks smaller. And maybe it's just because I'm so far away with recording the video, but um, I think I wish that text was a little bigger. But I, th I think I like this. It, again, looks sleeker. And it, it just... It, this all just helps AppSheet feel more modern, which is huge because AppSheet is such a modern platform. The idea that we can develop full functioning, full fledged apps in a few hours is uh, revolutionary, honestly. Um, and so, especially just at, as how well AppSheet does it. Um, so I, I think this is really just helping AppSheet feel more modern, feel more part of the times. Um, yeah, overall, I think I like it. Um, part of me, again, wishes some of the text was bigger, wishes some of the buttons were bigger, but I'm also just a big guy, so <laughs> maybe that's just me. Uh, but on that topic, I'd love to hear what y'all think. Please throw your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like the change? Do you not like the change? Uh, is it just different, something you'll have to get used to? Um, what, what do you think about the Google Material update for the AppSheet Editor? Uh, I'd love to hear. And again, this hasn't really changed a lot uh, inside the app itself. There's not a lot of functionality changes. Uh, one thing we did notice that was actually pretty cool um, is under forms, you can now change the, the column order in a form, which is huge if that's something you're wanting to do. And if that's something you've never thought of before, then you probably think that's silly. But uh, I'm really excited about that. We've made a couple videos about workarounds for that. Uh, and now I think as from what I've seen, those are really the only videos that have been made obsolete by any of these updates. Um, and even so, they're not fully obsolete. Uh, so that's something we really wanted to encourage as well is that even though this looks new and sleek, uh, it's mostly a cosmetic change there aren't a lot of features that have been added or changed dramatically um but yeah please throw any questions or comments or thoughts you have about these changes or any other changes you've noticed that i didn't point out that you think were worth noting um we'd love to hear more of your thoughts thank you so much for watching